But as for Beyonce, as talented as she is, I stopped fooling with her ever since her and her husband suggested that she was better than Michael Jackson. Now, <laughs> you can't be better than the blueprint. MJ loved to interpret music alongside a guitarist on stage. Isn't Beyonce now doing the same exact thing? Remember when Michael had that song, Dangerous, and he did this military style dance along with some effects? There were some sound effects that kind of sounded like lashes. Didn't Beyonce do a strikingly similar performance for Ring the Alarm? Now, Charlemagne wanted people to call in on his show to say that Beyonce's Super Bowl performance was better than Michael's. Now, right before Charlemagne said that, Jay-Z said that Beyonce was the greatest entertainer living. I'm putting emphasis on living. He knew not to say ever because MJ fans would come for him. But I believe they put the Breakfast Club up to that. You know, just to plant a little seed in people's head because that's all you need. Now, if you watch MJ's 1995 MTV Award performance uh, when he performed Dangerous, just that performance blows Beyonce out of the water for anything she's ever done. And that wasn't even MJ's like top five performances. Um, but, but it was brilliant. Now, I notice people always want to compare younger artists to our greats when our greats were not in their prime. Does anyone notice that? You know, everyone slows down as they age. Is Beyonce dancing as hard as she used to? I think not. Remember the MJ documentary, This Is It? And then Jealous Madonna did one to prove she works just as hard. Then Beyonce started making documentaries. Now Jay-Z is saying, keep coming to the award shows until they say you are the greatest of all time. That right there told me everything I needed to know, that her and her husband are narcissistic, entitled brats. Now, Beyonce didn't say she was better than anyone per se, but nothing comes out of her mouth because she allows her husband, her family, her friends, and her fans to be her mouthpiece. Now, I don't want to be messy. <laughs> well, maybe just a little bit. But I have a friend who thinks Beyonce is on the spectrum, and that's why they don't allow her to do interviews. Now, of course, I don't believe that. I just think she's a bit introverted and I should know because I am. But what Beyonce needs to do is to become a little bit more personable. She's never on social media interacting with people. It seems her only friend is Kelly Rowland and she isn't even supportive of Kelly. The only time Beyonce comes out to play is when she wants you to purchase something from her. She wants to keep up this elusive, mysterious aura about herself. And in a way, it makes her seem a bit out of touch. You know, Michael Jackson was a bit introverted, but he had a personality. He was charming and funny as heck. He didn't feel the need to dominate everything. And no matter what you think about MJ and his scandal, he was gifted and original. And people respected that about him. He didn't need to prove he was the best. He just was. This is Sean Alexander. Thanks so much for listening. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go,